Hi guys, it's Tana from Gratitude Garden Farm. Today I am going to be making king oyster scallops. So I know everyone at the market has been really waiting on this. Um, you can pretty much do this same exact idea of making scallops, but you can do it with any marinade or any sauce that you want. But today, of course, since it's still baby ginger season, I am making a ginger dressing. These are two garlic cloves. Um, one was squished like crazy. Um, and then I'm gonna use probably about like half an inch. I'll probably use about this much of the ginger, not that much. Uh, I'll do three scallions. Um, at the end, I will top it with, I don't like the flavor of cooked lime juice that much, so I kinda add it at the end. About three tablespoons of tamari sauce. I'm going to use probably one tablespoon of white miso. I'm gonna use um, one to two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. And then I'm gonna use probably about a tablespoon of the Miyoki's butter. And I have some more organic dulse flakes here. And then I have some black pepper for flavoring. So you're, you can't really make the scallops with the top, but you can use them in any other recipe that you're making. these as you make little lines in them. For one, it kind of makes them more like scallops. And secondly, it helps them to cook better. So I go a little bit deeper with the first cut and then a little bit more shallow with the second. So I have garlic here and baby ginger here, and you can literally just mince it. It's incredible. Now we are going to take the water, which was about two cups, but we'll probably need to add a little bit more. The tamari sauce. Two tablespoons of the toasted sesame oil. The ginger and garlic. Scallions. tablespoon of white miso. Now we are going to whisk it together. If you like a slightly sweeter sauce, you can always add a little bit of raw honey after you cook it with a leftover sauce. Okay, now we are going to add mushrooms. So we're basically gonna let these cook in here for about five to 10 minutes, depending. I'm gonna keep my eye on them. And then we will pan fry them on the stove. But we're 
we're just kind of getting all that sauce in there. Let them sit. So now I'm gonna do about one and a half tablespoons of the Miyoki's butter to pan fry the scallops. I'm also gonna thicken this sauce up a little bit. I'm gonna reduce it down. I still have a little piece of mushroom in there. I'm gonna reduce this sauce down. Maybe add a little bit of coconut sugar to it. I'm gonna be putting this on a the cucumber Asian inspired salad that I already made. So it already has like a lot of flavor. 